assisted suicide, is it right or wrong? Throughout this documentary, I'll explain who the key groups involved in the assisted suicide battle at the moment are, I'll describe the background to the assisted suicide issue and why it's an option for some people. I will also explain actions people are taking or not taking to legalise assisted suicide in New Zealand and some of the possible solutions to the problem of assisted suicide that will make both sides of the argument agree. Assisted suicide has been a hot topic before in New Zealand with two previous bills for legalisation, one by Peter Brown in 2003 failing narrowly 59 to 58. Again in 2003, Massey University carried out a survey on assisted suicide and 73% of the public surveyed said they would agree with assisted suicide if it were carried out by doctors, GPs or other medical professionals on someone with some sort of incurable disease. Massey then asked if it was alright to be carried out by someone such as a family member. Favour of this solution then dropped to 49%. Assisted suicide is only legal in three countries, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Switzerland and four US states. Some of the problems faced in those countries are applications for assisted suicide on deformed babies, elderly people with dementia and others with disabilities. Other problems are people who give up e too easily on life, committing suicide when really it was not the right option. Here is a graph to show how much the assisted suicide rate in the Netherlands is increasing. Recently, Lucretia Seals, an Auckland lawyer with a terminal brain tumour, fought very hard for the legalisation of assisted suicide in New Zealand as a way to die with dignity and without the pain of her illness killing her in the end. Lucretia passed away from natural causes on the day of her judgement. Although she was denied the right to die with dignity, Lucretia sparked an argument which others are now also willing to fight for. There are a number of groups, including Dignitas and Dignity in Dying International, who help people in assisted suicide. Here is now a video of her husband, Matt Vickers, explaining what happened about her case and what they hoped to achieve, as Lucretia had just passed away. Lucretia listened to me as I explained the decision. Even though she couldn't speak, she was able to share her feelings through her expression. There was no mistaking her response. She was hurt and disappointed. She fixed me with a stare with her good eye as if to say, isn't this my body, my life? Her breath slowed and she turned her head away. Her reaction utterly broke my heart. Our hope turned to the second ruling, a declaration of inconsistency with Lucretia's rights and fundamental freedoms under the Bill of Rights. As stated, this would not help Lucretia, but in future it might help others. After Justice David Collins said that Lucretia's argument was not for the courtroom, but Parliament, Act MP David Seymour has announced that he will release a private member's bill to Parliament, as he says that public thoughts have changed on the subject of assisted suicide. Judith Collins and John Key have both said that they will raise the issue of assisted suicide with their colleagues. Even though some of the laws are not clear, Parliament could make the decision to have certain conditions on who can apply for assisted suicide. For example, only those with terminal illnesses can apply for assisted suicide. Another solution could be to have doctors of a certain level determine whether assisted suicide is humane in the given circumstances.